slip. You know, the Maryland. So I'm like, yo, that's not crazy. Yo, I'll tell you this. This is what it is right here for you, man. Yeah, Original hip hop style music right. talking culture. <laughs> this your man right here, Kurt Nice. Uh, we at the Bronx Museum right now doing our thing. And uh, we just bring you a lot of special guests sometimes, man. And of course, it's nothing but originality, concept, and skills here. So, of course, we got to have this man, Immortal Technique. Man, introduce yourself to the people, man. Tell them what it's about. What up, man? This is Immortal Technique. Oh, shit. Yeah. Alright. Alright. <laughs> right. Well you just you just you just got finished doing your thing out there, man. We just gotta get right into this, man. Tell us about the new album. Let's let's just go through the album right quick. Man. Well, I mean what kind of fire can we expect? You gotta understand this that this album I wanted to do two specific things. One of them was remind people in the hood that look, as bad as it is for us here. Let's never forget how bad it is for all people overseas, all people in Latin America, in Africa, in the Caribbean, in the Middle East, the people that are suffering 10 times worse than we could ever imagine. Because here we can go to a chicken spot. There's some places, there ain't no chicken spot. Right, right. right. And the other one is that in the same way that the first world comes to the developing world or the third world and oppresses them for their labor, for their land, for their natural resources, is the same way that major label superpowers come to the underground, which is the third world of hip hop, mm. to exploit us for our labor, for our land. Anybody you see out there who's successful in the top 10 of Billboard, at some point it was underground, at some point it was part of the third world, and someone told them in order to be successful, they had to do this and that, sell us the masters, sell us the publishing, get the 360 deal, let me get your merch, let me get your show money, let me get a piece of this. And that's the first world does too. They say the only way you little dark people could be civilized is sell us the sell us the rights to your oil, privatize mm. your your telecommunications, privatize your transportation, you know, sell us your diamonds. So basically they mirror each other in the struggle. So I basically made an album and then Green Lantern blended it together like a mixtape besides producing a chunk of the, of the joint. Okay, and, and of course, like if you don't know, the album is called The Third World. Third you know what I'm saying? Baby. And let's just take it to a couple of joints. Um, reverse Pimpology. Yeah. Reverse Pimpology. What's up with that right there? It, it's a very, very smooth track. It'll throw some people off at first because they'll hear me rhyming and they'll be like, yo, is that really, you know what I mean? Is he really talking about that in the first verse? And then the second one, you understand exactly what it's really about. Because we think that we pimping the game, you know, mm. and we're not pimping. Mm. We're getting pimped. It's reverse pimp we think, we think that we gangsters, right? Mm. But a real gangster ain't trying to floss with jewelry. You know, a real gangster ain't trying to fuck your wife or your girl. A real gangster's mm. fucking your country. Wow. A real gangster's dressed up in a nice uniform, working at a bank, pimping yeah. your country, right? Mm. Pimping your tax dollars. Somebody's gambling with your money. So I think we're a little confused about what it is to be a thug or to be a criminal. The world is run by gangsters. The world is run by criminals. Mm. Somebody to go to somewhere else and be like, oh, guess what? We're going to come off this little section out of here and then take it out. Mm. Why do you think some people in Africa speak French and others speak mm. another language? You think it's because they chose to speak French? No, oh, it's because somebody came there and colonized them. We pray to the gods of our conquerors. Mm. Mm. That's the reality of it. Mm. And we speak their languages too. So when we talk about these things, we have to present them in a historical context. I tell my brothers from the Dominican Republic, some who are a little confused about their, their African heritage, mm -hmm. I tell them, listen, the man who founded Pennsylvania, his grandfather was an admiral in the British fleet, and they attempted to take the island of Hispaniola, which is modern-day Haiti in the Dominican Republic. They failed during the age of privateering, but since they faced hanging going back without any sort of prize, they chose to attack the, the the least fortified garrison in the Caribbean, which turned out to be what is today Port Royal. And they didn't find any large amount of treasure and anything, but they found a multitude, a plethora of African slaves there. And so they put them to work and retaught them the language. So instead of speaking Spanish as they once did, they started to teach them English. But since Africans had their own society they had built in the absence of their English rulers in certain parts of it, the, the English became mixed with the African, and what you have is Patois and Jamaica, right? right, right? right, right but right. you'll find Spanish towns there. Right. And I tell my brothers all the time, if they had not been successful, Dominicans would be would speaking be, English, right, 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 and Jamaicans would be speaking Spanish. Spanish. Right. So realize who made you that way, you know what I mean? Don't um, think that they we decided these things for ourselves. These things were decided for us, for yeah. our people. 
And when we do the knowledge on that and we do the culture, that's the spirit of hip hop. That's being hardcore. That's being from the streets. Knowing why the streets is like that. All right, well, one thing that's always been good about you, too, is that you're able to break down science, you know, in a very specific way, like you just have been right now. And that brings you to, to realize that you, you, you're able to go around the country stuff speaking and, and, and doing, you know, dates where you just, you know, you talk to people and stuff. How, like, how did you get that popping and do you enjoy that as much as the music? Well, I mean, I don't do as many speaking circles as I would like to, um, but what I was doing is I was working at a few uh, prisons for youth, which I think is much more uh, where I felt comfortable talking to people. Not that I can't speak in front of a college audience, but I felt like they could relate to where I was coming from, you know what I mean? You just be being unsensitive. Being, 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 I mean, yeah. it's one thing for me to talk about about sciences and yeah. discuss history and whether it be African history, Roman history, pre-Columbian history, but it's another thing for me to tell a brother, I know what it's like to get out of jail and not be able to get a job because of your criminal record. Mm -hmm. I know what it's like to be sitting in this situation right, wondering how I'm, how I'm going to eat, yo. Mm -hmm. To have, be ashamed to be, to, to, to be on parole, right, living right. with your moms again. Right. You know? Right. Uh, grown ass man, 21 years old, yeah. my mom, I'm supposed to move out. Right, right, right. And I'm over here desperately trying to make ends meet, selling CDs, trying to get paid, going to these labels, hearing niggas tell me that they don't think black and Latino people are smart enough to understand this type of music. This shit don't sell no more. You know, me pissing in the Sony elevator, shit that's real. I'm talking about what I'm really going through. All so, right. I mean, this is all part of my struggle. I don't censor it. The Third World, June 24th. Check it out, Immortal Technique, ViperRecords.com. All right, you know, tell us about the payback. Ross Cass and Diabolic. All right, then I got to get the hell out of here. <laughs> All right, I, I got nah, it. We, we just have to be as raw as possible. <laughs> Shout out to my man Ross Cass. He's locked up right now. Hold your head, baby. Um, The payback. It's a, it's a ruthless song. I mean, I can I, imagine. I, I, I'd originally wanted to to make it just about paying people back for specific things, but I let people go on a personal level and talk about things on a global level. You know what I mean? So Raskas did that. He just, he just addressed personal things in his life mm. and then addressed things that he felt wrong in the world. Diabolic was the same way, and then my personal perspective was what I wanted to pay people back for okay. in general. You know what I mean? Not just in the personal, but in the economics, mm -hmm. the business, and all aspects. Well, I got to give you a personal big up about this one, man. Cause of death, man. That was crazy. Yeah, like, what's the reaction people give you for that song and stuff like that? In the yeah. past, they'd be mad until they realized a lot of the it's things true. that I was talking about were based on historical fact. And, I mean, you could call me a conspiracy theorist if you want to, but you could look up the fact that they had this thing called the Northwood Documents. You could look up the fact that we've worked with terrorist organizations before. You could look up the fact that we perpetrated uh, 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 radiation testing on right, right. uh, Puerto Rican uh, activists that were trying to get independence for their nation. You could look up the look fact at the Tuskegee that, experiment. Huh? We, we, could look, we could look up at the fact that when we intervene in certain nations, we just have that specific goal in we don't know mm -hmm. anything else. We, we, we go to Kuwait and Iraq. Mm -hmm. Why the fuck when we in Rwanda and Bosnia? Mm -hmm. Bosnia, we show Yo, this is a mortal technique right now. You're listening to Shades of Hip Hop, ShadesRadio.com. You know what it is already. Harlem, all over the world. Latino America, Africa, the Middle East. You know what I mean? Southeast worldwide. Asia, the third world, baby. You know all what right. it is. Worldwide, Shades of Hip Hop, Immortal Technique. All right. Come on. Thank you.